Hey everybody, it's Brad with another Designers Gallery Creator Club video for you. Um, today we're going to be digitizing logos from a backdrop. Um, we're going to imagine that our son-in-law has a lawn mowing company and has asked us to make shirts for him and all of his workers. Um, so we're, we're working off the assumption that we want to make a uh, left chest embroidered logo to sew out um, in the left chest position on a polo shirt. Um, so uh, the first thing we, we need to do is get the artwork into the software. Um, and so we're going to assume that he has provided us with some sort of picture that we can open up and uh, I'm just going to hit the image button here. Remember, when you start out, you open up the, the program, you have to hit this button first, create, to get to this stuff. And I have it left in um, level one. So anybody who has creator at all is going to be able to do this class today. Um, but anyway, uh, so we're going to hit image here. Left click on that. And you need to navigate to wherever the picture is. So if it's on a flash drive or you emailed it to you and you downloaded it, you go to there. In this case, of course, we've got these uh, logos that I downloaded uh, just over the internet. Just, uh, you know, I did a Google search for lawn company and found some logos. Uh, we're going to start with this one here, um, Signature. And uh, it's pretty simple, pretty simple logo, but it's actually more complex than it looks at first glance. So um, I'll tell you what I mean by that uh, when we get going. So we're going to select this one here and hit open. And we can see that it comes in, it comes in fairly small. Um, if we left click on it then uh, we can change the size of it but we don't have we don't have anything that tells us on this screen exactly what size this is I mean we can look at the inch markings on our grid but if you want to size this more exactly uh, then you go up and hit this uh, select objects button here for selection mode and when you hit that you actually get the exact measurements in either uh, millimeters or inches, which you can switch between right here. Millimeters and inches. We'll set it to inches. And uh, we can see that our width is uh, 1 and 3 sixteenths inches, and our height is 5 eighths of an inch. And that's simply too small um, for left chest embroidery. In general, unless you have a very good reason to do otherwise, on a left chest embroidery, you want to set it to either 3 and a half inches wide or three and a half inches tall, whichever is larger. So in this case, our width is larger than our height. So we want to set our width to 3.5, and then we'll hit enter, and that sizes it up so that the width of our logo is now going to be three and a half inches. That's about as big as you want to do a left chest embroidered logo. Now there are exceptions to that but it is a good rule of thumb right so now we've got our image sized to the correct size we need to go back to create okay so we're gonna click off of select objects and left click back onto create and now what we have to do is draw in each segment of our design okay so let's take a look at what makes up this design I'm gonna zoom in a little bit we've got this big curve here and we've got the word signature and then the word the words lawn care LLC down at the bottom okay so we've got um, basically two different stitch types that we're gonna have to deal with uh, the first stitch type is going to be a satin stitch where we draw this whole little section in and then turn that into a satin stitch and then we've got the word signature and this is wide enough that we can make it be a satin stitch. And then down here we've got this Lawn Care LLC and this is so small that the only way we're going to be able to sew this out and have it be legible in any way is to do it as a running stitch. So this is going to have to all be a, um, a run stitch. Okay, So a satin and a run, that's what we're dealing with today. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is do this curve. right? The way we're going to draw this in is we're going to use the draw with points tool under the draw section and we'll leave our stitch type as artwork for now so that it just comes in and it creates an artwork segment. 
All right, now we're going to draw this as a satin stitch. And when you're drawing as a satin stitch, uh, when you're digitizing a satin stitch, you want to draw your shape a little bit bigger than the artwork shows because a satin stitch actually pulls in uh, quite a bit. So we're going to draw this a little bit bigger than it shows it on the screen. And then when it actually sews out, it'll actually pull the sides in and make it a little tighter uh, than, it, than it looks. Um, when we uh, then it looks on the screen. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so uh, we're gonna start. I'm gonna start down here below where the point is, and I'm gonna start my first point by holding Shift, uh, which is gonna make a hard point, like uh, instead of making a curve. The rest of this is gonna be a curve, but this and this are gonna be hard points. They call them cusps. All right, so we're gonna start down here. I'm gonna hold down my Shift key and click my first point. Then I'm gonna click somewhere out here and see how I'm staying to the outside of the artwork. Now I get to the point here. I'm going to hold down the shift key again and then let off of it. And come back around this way till I get to the end. I'm going to hit my close open outline tool. Left click that and it creates a closed shape. Now if this shape isn't exactly how I want it, I can go and adjust my points and adjust my lines by just clicking and dragging until it's the way that I want it. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave this more or less the way that I drew it. Uh, but know that if you don't, you know yours doesn't look good to you, you can always go back and edit it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this shape that we just drew into a satin stitch by going up here to this icon here it's got two lines with a zigzag in between and then like a little black line in there uh, if you hover your mouse over it, it says satin column we're gonna left click on that and it's gonna automatically generate a satin stitch right there okay uh, so there we've now digitized our little swoopy part and we're ready to move on to the next section which is going to be this S here so the um, the S, well actually, you know, let's talk about the start and the stop point um, right now because while on this shape it doesn't really matter that much where we start and we stop, for the rest of this we are going to have to be dealing with this. So if we look at this shape that we generated, we can see there's this red little sideways bow tie. I'll move it out so you can see it. That's the stop point and then this green bow tie, that's the start point. Now for this shape, it's not going to really matter where our start and our stop are that much. Um, because it doesn't touch any of the rest of the design so there's gonna be a jump stitch no matter what which if you have a machine that cuts jump stitches it'll automatically trim uh, but just keep in mind that these start and stop points can be moved so that we can eliminate jumps between different shapes um, but anyway we're gonna move on to the next shape like I said it's gonna be the S here uh, so we're gonna go back to our draw with points tool we'll leave this on artwork also the stitch Okay, so draw is on draw with points, stitch is still on artwork, and we are going to draw in the S first. All right? And remember, it's the same deal. We want it to be a little bit, hold down shift for our hard points, we want it to be a little bit bigger than the original artwork shape is. Okay, and this, this is the case for all satin stitches. Now I hold down my shift key going around those hard points there. Come back around till we get to the start. Close our shape. Then we can hit our satin column tool. And there we go. Now we can actually go in and edit these points and move them around if we don't like where it puts some points or the way that it puts some stitches but in level one you don't have any control over what direction the stitches are um, if we have level two or three we could actually go in and change what angle these stitches the the satin stitches that it puts in but right now we're not going to deal with that um, so if your stitches look weird um, like when I first started let me uh, let me undo here Undo, undo. There we go. When I first hit the button, um, the satin column button, and I unconsciously fixed it without even <laughs> without even thinking to tell you. But if we look at this, the stitches are going like this. See how the stitches here are going like this, 
and then like this. That's not right. We want the stitches to go like this and then come around like this. In level one, we don't have a way to fix that. In level two, we could. But in level one, what you do is you just kind of mess with your outline. And look, just moving that point down a little bit changed it and made it so that the stitches now radiate out around this curve the way that I want it. So if your stitches don't look right, just adjust your points a little bit until they do. Um, all right, so now we've got our um, our first segment in, and for here, I want to go from this S to the dot in the I, and so I want to have the shortest distance between these two. So I'm going to have my stop point, I'm going to move to right here, and my start point doesn't matter that much, but I want it to be as close to the stop point the previous stop point as possible. My previous stop point is down here and we can see this red line between the last stop and the start. So we'll have this go start here and stop here. And now we want to draw in our next section which is going to be we use the draw with points again on artwork and then we're going to just kind of follow around the outside of the dot in our eye, close the shape, satin column, Okay, now that might be a little bit long, so I'm going to pull my last point up a little bit. There we go. Okay, and now we set our start point right next to where our stop point was, and we can see that it is. And then we want our stop point for this to be all the way down here so that it can jump down and do this I here. Now, this I and this G are kind of part of the same shape right so we've got this part and this part are all touching the color is all touching so we could try if we want to to do this all as one shape and then let the auto column attempt to figure out what piece needs to be what stitch going what direction okay so we can try that that's a thing that works sometimes um, so we'll try that first um, I'm just going to grab my draw with points and my artwork. Now if this doesn't work then what we'd have to do is draw this whole shape in in sections. Meaning we draw this curve first then the G. But we're going to see if we can do it all in one go. See if you can figure out which points need to be shifted. Right here that's one. It's called a cusp when it does that. I have a whole video on cusps. That's a cusp. Oops, should have done cusps there. Shift, shift, close shape. Okay, now what about the hole in here? Well, we actually need to perform another operation to generate this hole. Uh, and to do that, we're going to draw again. We're going to draw the inside edge of the hole here. Close the shape. All right, so I've drawn the hole in and I've drawn the outer part in but I didn't I can't do any stitching yet I can't turn this into stitches because I have to combine this with this right and the way we do that let's open up in our object tree open this up hit the little plus sign and we can see these last two see the first three stitches are all columns and the last two things we drew in are lines still so we're going to select both of them go to create outline combine holes all right so now this becomes all one shape then we can hit our satin column tool and it will automatically try and do it and we can see that it was unable to perfectly create this shape so what we can do is go in and mess with the points and there we go oh, except it messed up up here so we can sit here and tweak our points See if maybe we can get it to do it. Delete some unnecessary points, maybe. No, nope, it's just not happening. So it looks to me like what we're going to have to do for this particular shape, anyway. Oh, wait a minute. I got it. I got it. See what I mean by you just go around messing with the <laughs> with the shape? There, I just I edited it again and it and it ruined it. There we go. So I got it. I got it just by adjusting the points around. If you uh, if you couldn't get it 
to do that, what you'd have to do is draw this in in pieces. So like you would draw like this piece and then this piece and then this piece. Uh, but usually just by moving your points around you can get this to work. Um, and uh, so anyway, what we want to do is make sure that we set our start and our stop points in reasonable places. Our start point we want right there, right below the stop point from before. And then we want our stop point, we'll say right here, and it'll go right into the end. All right, so next shape, we'll go in, use our draw with points tool, and we'll start drawing in our N here. You know, I could have done that as a cusp. I should have. I'm going to start over again. All right, so we're going to use the shift key to start with, then come down around here, shift. I didn't though. <laughs> shift, shift, back to the curve, so no shifting. That's not a cusp, that's just a curve. Shift, 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 close the, the shape, and we'll see what our satin column button does. Perfect. All right, now we've got uh, we've got another choice here. We could do this A either separately or together uh, with the T. I'm going to do it separately because I think that these shapes are too different um, for our uh, our satin stitch to figure out on its own. Um, so we're going to do the A. Let's see, I'll start about here. Oh, and I I forgot to set my start and my stop points for the end, so we're gonna have to go back and do that. Kind of rushing because it's it's getting late. I gotta teach this class in an hour. All right. I hit shift there for that cusp. I need another shift right here. Bring it around. Close the shape. Now we need to do the hole. Close the shape. Okay, remember we need to take these two lines, create, outline, combine holes. All right, and then we use our satin column tool, and it creates a big mess. So we're going to have to go in and move our points around a little bit until it gets it. There, that's close. Sometimes you just got to delete unnecessary points too. See how I'm just deleting some of these points? You delete them by double clicking, by the way. Yeah, sometimes it's tough. And what I might have to do is do this in two pieces. But I just can't get it. Just keep deleting points and pulling out curves until it looks right. But, oh, I think I got it. <laughs> okay, I got it. So, yeah, I mean, you see, it's pretty tricky sometimes, but it's just a matter of just deleting points, and you delete points by double clicking them. Um, all right, anyway, let's go ahead and set our stop point from our N to here and the start point on our A to here and then the stop point on our A to here and then we'll go and do the T draw with points now the T is going to be another one that's tricky that overlaps with our A a little bit When it does that, that means you should have used a shift key. Alright, and then hit our... There we go, and it did it just fine though. Alright, so we change our start and our stop now. Take our start and put it here where the stop was. We'll put our stop where we're going to start the next one, which is going to be right there. So we've got our U is next. Uh, so we go in and use our draw with points tool. And I'm going to start tracing my U. Shift click here, so cusp, and I <laughs> I forgot 
I forgot that we're supposed to be tracing these a little bit larger than the line. There we go. Remember, when we're drawing a satin stitch, it's going to pull. So it's not going to look like it does on the screen. Close the shape. Satin column. Set our start and our stop. So our start is already in the right place. Our stop we'll put right down here and we'll have the R start down there as well. And so now we've got the R to deal with. And we're here. That's a shift click. Shift click. Shift click. Shift click. Close the shape, satin column, wonderful. Now we've got an E and this one's got a hole in it so this is probably going to be one that we're going to have to mess with. But off we go. Oh, and I forgot to make it bigger than the artwork again. Shift click. Draw the hole. And we combine them. Outline. Combine holes. What did I do? Outline. Combine holes. Why isn't it combining my holes? Select them both. Create. Outline. Combine holes. All right. Uh, not sure why it's not letting me combine these two shapes here. I did close the shape. Create outline. Combine holes. Okay, guys. I don't know why that's not working. I'm just gonna redraw them. I, maybe there's something I did wrong somehow. I. Quite frankly, I'm at a loss. I don't understand why that didn't work. I'm just going to try it again. This is why I hate computers. Alright, close the shape. Okay. Create, outline. Combine holes. That time it worked. I have no idea why it worked the one time and it didn't the other, but whatever. Uh, set in column. And look, it did it right on the first try. That is excellent. All right, so we need to set our start and our stop. So our start is going to be here. And our stop doesn't really matter because it's the last one. Uh, but this one, actually, I forgot to set his stop to up here. It's handy that it leaves those big red lines <laughs> so that you know when you need to get rid of one of those. Um, but okay, um, so that is our most of our logo uh, now we just need to do this lawn care LLC and the way we're gonna do that is gonna be very simple and we're gonna do it while holding the shift key down the whole time get your draw with points leave it on artwork hold down shift left click left click left click left click left click then back up and over over and down into the W this is gonna be all one continuous line the whole word lawn. Boom. And then we make it a run stitch. Now the care, we're going to start with the C. Now this one, we're going to actually let it curve. And then back to the shift key. Lawn care. L. Oops. Should 
Should have been holding my shift key that whole time. L. C. Okay, there we go. Take our last three sections, make them black. Black. Oh, pick a um, different thread chart here. Be real black. All right, black. There we go. All right, and then we can hide the image by hitting this and see what our design looks like. There we go. Sew that right out on a polo shirt. It's gonna be great. Uh, so anyway. That is uh, digitizing from a backdrop for a logo um, using satin stitches. So that's um, basically what this was, was really a lesson on, on <laughs> drawing in satin stitches and uh, setting your start and your stop points. But, um, you know, a lot of logos are pretty similar to this. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.